I was, I didn't realize I'll come I know, yeah, they just, <laughs> Steve wants us in fast so you guys can get out of here fast, I guess. Right. Um, you guys were popping today. It looked like you came in with on the mission you guys talked about yesterday. Can you just kind of elaborate on that? Yes, sir. I mean, we feel like, you know, we still feel like we're the underdogs. We know we're number one ACC regular season, but people still doubt us. People still aren't, aren't picking us. People still aren't. Believe when we're as good as we think we are, and you know we come in with that mindset every single day. And today, you know they're bigger than us, more athletic, and they try to bully us. But you know we're the bullies. We're not gonna get do you kind of like? Do you kind of like that? That people. I love it. That's my type of game. And it gets chippy and pushing and talking, and the coaches were talking. Like, I love it. Well, you know, two things. That that is one thing. It was very chippy out there, but people. Kind of saying you guys aren't a one seed. Is that sort of the disrespect you're talking about? I think so. I mean, I feel like people think they can come in here and that's because we're smaller um, height-wise and, you know, we play small ball, we play fast. People think they can come in here and we're just like pretty boy North Carolina, but that's not us. I mean, we're all, we're all some dogs. We all got chips on our shoulder. We're all ready to win. You guys scored 22 straight fast break points. <clears throat> it was 4 to them. It was eight minutes left in the first half. You guys scored 22 straight over like the next 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like we have we have Ellie and RJ and Seth, three of the fastest guards in the country, and I feel like they're pressing us the whole game. And I think that's the that might be the worst game plan I've ever seen to do against <laughs> us personally. Yeah, Harrison, how does a team avoid complacency after doing what y'all were able to do in the regular season? No, I feel like whenever um, you know people are doubted, like we are, and all of us were in, in different ways, and as a team, and you know, as as a coach, everyone, I mean, the coaching staff, players, we're all doubted coming into the season. I feel like there's no chip, nothing you can do to take a chip off our shoulders. Like, Ready to go or we're coming. Do you find things for to use as a chip? Do you look for stuff, or is it just kind of come naturally? out talking to me? I don't know why. Every every single game they want to talk to me, and you know, that's all I need. Just one person, one talk, one push in the back, one person to elbow me. I'm good. You had so a I'm word. Going. You had a word for Bob Miller there at one point. He was right in front of your bench. I think it began with F or something like that. It, be, it looks like you're just in your element. If you could just lose yourself out there, say whatever the hell you want to say, right. that's your game. That's my, that's my game, man. I, mean, I usually don't start it. You know, I, I'll, I don't want to say anything crazy unless they say something to me first. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's basketball, and I love playing basketball. You know, I just go out there have fun. And, you know, I mean, we, we're at the AC tournament in D.C. I mean, we have a good season. My family's here. Everyone's healthy. There's nothing to be worried about. So I'm having fun. Lots of dudes scored. You guys were sharing the ball all over the place. I mean, that's, that's the team. I mean, it was the first round, you know, three games in a row. Everyone got hot. Everyone was playing well. Seth had a great game. RJ obviously had a good game. AC Player of the Year. And, you know, Zayden came in and gave us some buckets. And everyone, I mean, it shows the depth of our team. I mean, a lot of teams, the guys who don't play are kind of like not that good. Or you don't really see it. But you see the guys on our team who don't play are all pros. They can go somewhere else and, you know, start another team. But they choose to come here and learn and you know, grow and get better every day. Harrison Mondo talked yesterday about now that he was on the all-defensive team. He was... I'm gonna make career as a three and D guy. Three <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know what to say to that. You know, it's Mondo. We got back to old school Mondo today. Right. This was no three point errors, right? He's not look at that. I mean, rebounding, battling, stuff like that. When he plays like that, what's the difference for you guys when he's really kind of engaged? I don't want to say engaged, but why is he's not? But when he's engaged like this, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, he's a bruiser. I mean, he's been here, been playing golf, basketball. He's a veteran. He's been here his fifth year, and you know, he's showing us the way. He knows he's been to all the biggest games you can think of. I mean, there's no moment that's too big for him and RJ. And, you know, he, he keeps us calm, keeps us ready to go, and, you know, he sets a load downside that makes every shot easier for us because team's got double teams, team's got a game plan for him, and you, know, you can't just leave him one-on-one or zero. But doesn't the three and D pick and pop or Armando <laughs> open things up for you? It, 100%. I mean, having a, having a big that can shoot you like Steph Curry, you know, <laughs> who else would have won that? I think at one point, very late, you guys had, they had 17 rebounds, you guys had 15 offensive rebounds. <laughs> He just ate him up off them in the glass. I feel like rebounding is not about size or <clears throat> athleticism or anything that's about it's about heart and will and positioning and you know we've been training rebounding we've been working on it every single day and coaches tell us to get to the glass and you know, most teams don't box out and you know we knew that going into, the, into this game they're like number 15 and that's last in ACC and I'm not sure how many teams there are but I'm pretty sure that's last in ACC and offensive rebounding so we knew that was the advantage for, for, for